so hi everyone today we're going to discuss the water and jug problem it's lead code 365 problem okay so let's just get to it uh, I hope you've read the question but I'll tell you in brief we are given two jugs okay this has capacity X let's say and we have another jug this has capacity Y okay initially they're both empty and we have an infinite reservoir of water from which we can take water and we can pour water into it okay and we want to measure a target uh, amount of water which is uh, let's say z okay so uh, but the catch is uh, we can only perform one of three operations first is we can fill this will uh, any of these two jugs completely okay second uh, we can empty any of these jugs okay and third we can pour water from one jug to another till the first one is empty or the other one is completely filled okay so by doing these three operations only we have to achieve this amount of uh, water okay so let's take an example it will be more clear let's say x equal to 3 y equal to 4 and we want to measure z equal to 2 okay so what do we do let's write the initial state this is jug 1 and this is jug 2 initially they're both empty okay so what we can do first we can fill x okay like fill the first jug so this will look like this okay first one is full second one is empty now we can pour water from this jug to this jug okay so this will look something like this now then we can fill the first jug again so this is it and then we can pour water from x to y like first jug to second jug it will look like this and then we can empty our first jug and there you have it okay so we are able to measure our target amount too so uh, this is not a very straightforward question okay so there are actually uh, two three methods of solving this we can solve it using BFS okay also using DFS and third is uh, using GCD using GCD it's the fastest method but we are not going to discuss it today we'll discuss the BFS solution and if you understand the BFS solution you can do the DFS solution too DFS is actually a bit slow I'll tell you why later but yeah so how is this problem how can this problem solve or be solved by BFS let's see okay so this is actually a quite complex scenario right two uh, jugs and a target amount so what I'm going to do is I'm going to transform the problem okay and uh, we'll transform the problem into an equivalent problem okay which will be easier to solve how let's see let's say we have x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 okay so effectively what we have is one jug okay hear me out essentially we have or effectively we have one jug okay of capacity 7 okay it's all in max capacity of 7 okay and let's look at these operations closely so here let's look at the total capacity here it's 0 okay here it's 3 so basically plus x here it's 3 again so nothing like 0 here it's 6 so basically plus x again here it's 6 nothing here it's 2 so basically minus y so effectively you can check whatever operations we can do uh, among the allowed operations we are effectively reducing the total uh, amount of water by uh, we are increasing the total amount of water by x or by y or we are reducing by x or reducing by y 
or we are not doing anything we are just shifting okay so essentially what we have is this problem is now this problem we had two jugs now we have one jug of max capacity seven okay and we can perform these two operation these four operations on the water of this jug okay and we want to reach z this is effectively what the problem has reduced okay okay so now we transform the original problem to this okay so now we can solve this uh, let me uh, dry run okay uh, let me make a graph okay along the way so initially we are at zero state what does that mean initially our jug is empty so it is zero state which is shown by this node okay so the operations allowed are plus three plus four minus three minus four okay so let's add plus three and by the way since we're doing a bfs we're going to keep a visited map so zero is visited and three is visited okay so you can also add four and four is visited can we remove can we do minus three and minus four on this node the answer is no because since our jug is empty now we can't remove anything from it okay so these are invalid operations basically in our condition for bfs when we check uh, if this state is visited we are also going to check if it's uh, making our uh, some negative basically because we want to reach target and we're dealing with water and negative doesn't make any sense okay so from here uh, we'll go to this we'll remove this from the queue okay so we can add three okay we can add four as well okay can we remove three you might say yes but i'd say no because when we remove three from this we're going to re reach the zero state which is already visited okay by the way six is also visited seven is also visited. so the state is already visited visited we're not going to uh, enter it and four we can anyway not remove because the jug has only three liters of water so from four let's see can we add three liters and get to seven no because seven is visited can we add four liters and get to eight no because max capacity is seven and you can't put eight liters of water in capacity seven jug okay so can we remove three liters yes can we remove four liters and make it zero no because zero is zero state is already visited by the way one is also visited now instead of keeping a visited array we are actually going to keep a visited map because uh, the constraint might constraints might be large and we might not be using all the values okay this is not a graph where we have every value from 0 to n okay so from here from 6 we can't add anything because it will go out of bounds can we remove uh, 3 liters no we can't because 3 is already visited and it will take us to 3 we can remove 4 liters though and it will take us to this state and this is actually uh, our target state okay so we have reached the target state uh, so we have basically found the answer as yes we needed to find whether it was possible and it is the answer is yes for this okay we are we can measure two liters from this capacity seven jug with these operations we have remember we are transformed the problem so don't think about that this is the problem now and we have solved it and as soon as we reach two we can return this return yes return true basically a boolean variable okay and in case we keep reaching visited states and Q becomes empty then we'll say that uh, okay uh, we couldn't find the target state so the answer would be false so the time complexity for this would be order of V plus E 
and the vertices at max can be x plus y because we have this capacity and we're not going beyond it and we're not going below zero and in the worst case we'll uh, go through all of them and the edges okay the edges of this graph actually it will be uh, quite less than that because once we uh, if uh, the target capacity can be found we'll we we'll break early but uh, the edges in the worst case can uh, in a complete graph as we know can be n into n minus 1 by 2 if I'm not wrong where n is the number of vertices okay so basically the time complexity would be the time complexity of a BFS uh, of a graph with uh, x plus y nodes that is the time complexity and BFS actually uh, would be the same but uh, it would be much slower why because the edges uh, this is not a static graph right we can keep exploring and we can keep reaching uh, edges so in case uh, the capacity is quite large okay thousand or ten thousand or something like that uh, what DFS will do it will keep exploring one path only okay and let's say uh, the target capacity isn't found on that path so then it will backtrack and then it will come back again and again okay so that would be very time consuming whereas uh, our BFS would just go here and it will grow radius wise like it does okay so it will be uh, more efficient okay so let's quickly write pseudo code for this okay a boolean function let's call it BFS okay and we'll get input the capacity of jug 1 the capacity of jug 2 and the target capacity okay so right off the bat if x plus y is less than z we can directly return false right because these uh, we will never be able to reach the target because the sum of both the jugs capacity is less than them right so let's keep all the operations that we can perform in an array okay we discussed these that these are the possible operations right keep a visited map as well right you can keep an unordered map okay c++ okay so let's initialize a queue as well since we'll be doing BFS and queue initially let's push 0 into it why because initially uh, our jug is empty okay let's mark visited as visited of 0 as 1 as well okay so while the queue is not empty okay what we're going to do let's pop out from the queue first right let's assume uh, while popping out it returns the popped out element as well okay so when we pop it out first let's check uh, if this popped out value is equal to our target capacity because in that case we shouldn't go further okay so we can return true all right so now for our operations or the edges you can say since there are four operations right so this will be the state after we perform the operation we can add x we can add minus depending on the value of i so uh, we can check if this uh, state has become equal to a target state in that case we can return true directly and in case we are going out of bounds as we discussed right we can simply continue now for the main part if the state or the node is not visited uh, we can push it into the queue and mark it as visit right basically we're doing a BFS only some modified BFS okay so 
that's it we can return false in the end because in case uh, queue becomes empty and we never uh, these two conditions never become true we'll know that it wasn't possible so we'll return false okay so that's it thank you